The fireworks won't be the only thing blowing up this November. Xbox Game Pass just got another wave of awesome day one releases, plus the chance to pre-install one too. One of 2021's biggest releases came speeding onto Xbox Game Pass with the arrival of Forza Horizon 5 on November 9th. Boasting a vast open world that spans mountain ranges, active volcanoes, dense jungles, thriving cities, and sparse deserts, Horizon 5 immediately feels like somewhere we'll be hanging out for a long, long time. From the vibrant graffiti provided by real-life street artists to the radio stations jammed full of Mexico's finest tunes, the whole place is just bursting with personality, guaranteeing an impressive number of smiles to the gallon no matter what you're driving. To make the most of your time on the racetrack, look out for our Forza Horizon 5 tips video, plus a bunch of other handy Horizon content by subscribing and ringing the bell. And if you want to add an extra immersive touch to your Forza Horizon 5 experience, there's a gorgeous blue and pink controller you can pick up to go with it. Be quick about it though, because like everything else in the world of Horizon, these limited edition gamepads are sure to go fast. Now, if you've been living under a rock, or more specifically a bedrock, you may be unaware of the video gaming sensation that is Minecraft. And you also may have been bonked on the head with a pickaxe, so altogether just not a good place to live. Fortunately, the world of Minecraft is a wonderful place to spend some time, and it just got even better with the arrival of both the Java and Bedrock versions of the game onto Xbox Game Pass for PC. That means you can enjoy crossplay with all of your console friends and tap into years and years worth of mod content to boot. And even if you've never picked up a pickaxe before, now is a good time as ever to start your Minecraft journey, with updates like the Caves and Cliffs editions ensuring that there is always fresh, blocky territory for players old and new to explore. If you and your partner weathered lockdown together without breaking a sweat and are looking for the next challenge, why not try your hand at the fantastical co-op platformer It Takes Two? Like any relationship, May and Cody's marriage has its share of problems. They don't always communicate as well as they could. Sometimes they struggle to make time for one another. They've accidentally been turned into tiny dolls by an errant magical spell. You know, just normal couple stuff. So begins an epic quest to return them to their human forms with each new section of the game throwing new obstacles and new abilities into the mix. One minute Cody is firing nails for May to hammer and the next she's rocking anti-gravity boots and he's turning into a houseplant. The result is a game which constantly keeps you on your toes, forcing you to find weird solutions to weird problems, and most importantly, making you learn how to work together. There's nothing like the warm, fuzzy feeling that nostalgia gives you, even if it is inspired by a bloody criminal rampage. With three classic Grand Theft Auto games being given the remaster treatment this month, one of them went day and day on Xbox Game Pass, with San Andreas arriving on the 11th of November. This iconic entry into Rockstar's infamous sandbox series has you living through the life and times of one Carl C.J. Johnson, who returns to his hard-knuckled hometown and quickly finds himself drawn back into the criminal life. From there, Rockstar spin another one of their sprawling yarns, involving rival gangs, corrupt corps, aspiring rappers, triads, drug cartels, and just about everything you could conceivably cram into an epic crime story. Really. While the game always had bags of style, Xbox Series X can now take in the beauty of San Andreas in luxurious 4K60. Humble Games has been a bottomless box of amazing day one content for Xbox Game Pass this year, and that trend continued with the arrival of Unpacking. Described as a zen puzzle game, this relaxing brain teaser is all about taking stuff out of boxes and finding just the right place for it within a shiny new home. It's partly about using your puzzle solving skills to make everything fit, and partly just about the simple pleasure of decorating a room to make it look nice. And as you unpack more and more of someone else's stuff, you'll find yourself unpacking their life story as you go, learning who they are through each new object. That everyday item you plucked out of a box might turn out to be a treasured keepsake, a parting gift or the spark for a lifelong passion. Although it might also just be a toaster. Still important though. In recent years, games like Grounded have made themselves arachnophobe accessible, with the option to turn the little eight-legged blighters into something distinctly less spidery. Which is great, gaming should be for everybody after all. But what if that's not enough? What if your particular brand of arachnophobia can only be solved with vengeance? 
Well then you should definitely hop over to the Xbox Game Pass catalogue and scoop up Kill It With Fire, a game that is all about taking down your spindly web weaving foes by whatever means necessary. Hedge trimmers, firearms, plastic explosives and honest to goodness rocket launchers are all fair game on your quest to rid the world of every creepy crawly in sight. Now I'm not sure if Kill It With Fire will help you to work through your issues as healthily as a game like It Takes Two or provide the therapeutic benefits of unpacking, but it will let you kill Spider with a Molotov cocktail and sometimes that's enough. Xbox Game Pass welcomed in another world-class day one signing on November 9th, with both the Xbox console and PC editions of Football Manager 2022 making their debut. The latest edition of the beloved management sim is packed with new features that will make your tactical tinkering even more enjoyable. There's a data hub packed with the kind of hyper-detailed analytics employed by real-world teams, which is sure to be a great source of number-crunching joy for all you obsessive analysts. At the same time, a revamped deadline day system is there for you chaotic folks who just love a slice of last-minute drama with a side of totally unfounded gossip. And on the tactical side of things, there's even an added option for playing with overlapping centre-backs to get your team playing just like Sheffield United. Which seems like a slightly questionable goal at this point, but hey, you do you. Come on, the Blades. November 11th also brought us more deck-building fun in the form of One Step from Eden. Although before you give this one a shuffle, you might want to chug down an energy drink or a handful of gummy bears because things are about to get frantic. Rather than the patient, methodical gameplay you might expect from a card-based roguelike, One Step from Eden throws you into the thick of it and leaves you to fight your way out in real time. Bullets, lasers and magic spells surge across the screen as both the battlefield and your enemies evolve from one moment to the next, forcing you to constantly think on your feet. And if that all sounds a little bit overwhelming, the good news is that the game's co-op mode means you can lean on a quick-thinking friend to help you make it through the more hectic moments. Finally, a nifty pre-install option which cropped up this week was the old-school action RPG Undungeon. After an event known as The Great Shift goes to town on the whole space-time continuum, several multi-dimensional versions of Earth suddenly find themselves all smushed up together. So it's up to you, Harold, and your colleagues at a secret interdimensional agency to try and restore some kind of order to this little multiverse of madness. Doing so will require you to travel between a whole host of different dimensions, interacting with the game's diverse cast of oddball characters and scrapping it out with all kinds of strange enemies. With a dash of modern roguelike flavouring to its retro gaming formula and a sumptuous pixel art aesthetic, Undungeon arrives on November 18th and has all the makings of a cult hit. Whether you intend to spend November taking in some Mexican scenery or working on your gag and press, an Xbox Game Pass subscription is certainly the way to go. Let us know what you'll be downloading first down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. Bye!